It is very nice to see so many members of the community come together to tackle an issue that we, we are all facing difficulty with. But of course, as the Prime Minister re recently declared, that some of the strongest voices condemning ISIS and condemning the Paris attacks more specifically have been from the Muslim community. But this should not come as a surprise. So the question is, is ISIS Islamic? Or are these attacks, are they justified by the Quran? Or are they justified by the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him? The simple answer is no. But obviously for many people, this answer is not enough. Because over and over again, there are many people who claim to be Muslims. They claim to be Muslims and they commit, you know, some horrible attacks. They commit some, some very disgusting acts in the name of Islam. And at the very same time, what they do is they use verses of the Quran to justify their attacks. They use a hadith or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam to justify what they are doing, which has led to many people, Muslims and non-Muslims, genuinely question what does Islam really say about these attacks? Because these individuals, they look outwardly very Islamic. Their beard is much longer than mine. Are these people truly following the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Once again, the answer is no. But then why do these people quote verses of the Quran? Why do these people quote a hadith or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to justify their actions? Because these people, personally, I believe that these people actually are convinced that what they're doing is correct. They believe that they, what they're doing is fully legitimate. They believe that what they're doing has a basis in the Qur'an and the Sunnah. But of course, their belief and their conviction is based on ignorance. Their belief and conviction is based on lack of knowledge. These individuals, although they quote the Qur'an, although they quote the ahadith of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, the fact of the matter is that they have taken certain verses, they have taken certain quotes from the Qur'an out of context. And they have placed it, they have misapplied it to fulfill their own you know, personal gains. And I'll give you an example. I have a nephew who I love very much. And I'm sure you all love your own nephews. And you know, sometimes I chase him. Sometimes I you know, play around with him, I chase him. And I say silly things like, I want to eat you. Now can you imagine if somebody who wasn't aware of the context... If somebody didn't know that this little child was my nephew, can you imagine the headline the next day? Muslim bearded man chases a young child threatening to eat him. And this is the case with these people. They have taken certain verses of the Quran out of context and then they are applying it in, in, in the wrong, for the wrong reasons and you know, in, in the wrong context. But somebody living in, in, in Britain or somebody living in France where the rulers are not Muslim and we cannot, hide, we cannot shy away from these facts, then Islam tells us that we must be obedient to the law of the country that we are living in. You know, your passion for Islam and your zeal for Islam should not lead you to kill innocent people. And as the sister mentioned earlier, Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, مِنْ أَجْلِ ذَلِكَ كَتَبْنَا عَلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ أَنَّهُ مَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا بِغَارِ نَفْسٍ أَوْ فَسَادٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا Allah Ta'ala says, and we have made it a law that whoever kills an innocent soul, and the word is nafs, any soul, whether that soul is Muslim or non-Muslim. Allah Ta'ala did not specify that this individual has to be a Muslim. Whoever kills a soul, whether that soul is Muslim or non-Muslim, uh, and it was not in retaliation of murder. For example, if somebody murders, then there are certain laws which, of course, that, are not, that cannot be applied in Britain, obviously. But there were times in the past when it was applied, where if somebody commits murder, their punishment is a death penalty. But this is a completely different you know, scenario altogether. But Allah Ta'ala says that whoever kills a soul, whoever murders someone without any, without any legitimacy, without any authority, it is as though he has killed the whole of mankind. And whoever shows the courage to save one single soul, it is as though he has saved the whole of mankind. Tell me, how many of, of the Muslims you know personally, how, how many of them have you seen you know, praise ISIS or, or, or commend ISIS or sympathize with ISIS? The vast majority of them don't. However, the question remains, why is it that, men, why is it that in the media... Now, I'd like to show you something, and I usually do this whenever I speak about Islam and terrorism, and I hope you, you can all see. I have with me a white piece of paper. Now on this white piece of paper, what can you see? There's a black spot. Now tell me, on, on this paper, how much percentage has that black spot taken? A tiny, a tiny bit, a very small amount. But when you look at this paper, what's the first thing you notice? The small dot. And this is the case with Muslims. Unfortunately, the vast majority of Muslims are the white, clean part, as you can see. 
This is, this is the vast majority of Muslims. They are, they, are not, they are not people who love to kill. They are not violent people. They are not people who sympathize with terrorists. These are people who believe in peace. These are people who advocate peace. These are people who want peace in the world with Muslims and non-Muslims. Just as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, himself lived peacefully with Jews in Medina. The only people who are legitimizing, legitimizing the actions of ISIS as Islamic is the media. Because the media are the ones who say these are Islamic people. Muslims never say this. You'll never hear an ordinary Muslim believe ISIS to be, you know, to be Islamic. Although they claim to be Muslims, it doesn't mean what they do is Islamic. Always remember this, that whenever you want to judge Islam, judge Islam according to Islam and not Muslims. And by saying this, I conclude. May Allah Ta'ala give us a, you know, give the ability to understand Islam.